Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. What is an object in Java? Option A, a type of a variable. Option B, an instance of a class. Option C, a function. Option D, a data structure. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B. Object is an instance of a class. Well, as we know that in Java, a class is a blueprint or a template for creating objects. An object is an instance of a class and we typically create an object in Java using new keyword and each object basically contains its own state and behavior. So if you compare with the real time, then objects represents a real world entities by holding specific values and performing actions. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. What is a class in Java? Option A, a blueprint for creating objects. Option B, a specific instance of a class. Option C, a function. Option D, a data structure. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option A, a blueprint for creating objects. Well, in Java, a class is a blueprint or a template from which individual objects are created. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Which keyword is used to create an instance of a class? Option A, new keyword. Option B, return keyword. Option C, this keyword. Option D, create keyword. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option A, new keyword. Well, in Java, we use a new keyword to create an object of the class. Okay, so the new keyword is used to instantiate an object of a class. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. What is the constructor in Java? Option A, a method that constructs variable names. Option B, a block of code used for initializing an object. Option C, a special variable inside a class. Option D, a return type of a method. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B, a block of code used for initializing an object. Well, the constructor in Java is a special method used to initialize the objects. And when you create an instance of a class, then the constructor will get called to initialize the object. And a constructor has the same name as a class name. All right, in Java, constructor is a special method that is called when an object is instantiated. And the primary purpose of constructor is to initialize the newly created object. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. What is the inheritance in Java? Option A, the process of creating multiple instances of a class. Option B, the process of hiding data and methods within a class. Option C, the process of reusing code from existing classes. Option D, the process of combining data and methods into a single unit. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option C, the process of reusing code from existing classes. Well, inheritance is a mechanism in Java that allows a class to inherit properties and methods from another class. So basically inheritance promotes a code reusability. It means a subclass can inherit the properties and methods from a superclass and subclass also can define its own unique you know properties and methods as well welcome to java quiz series here is one more question what is encapsulation in java option a the process of combining data and methods into single unit option b the process of hiding data and methods within a class option c the process of creating multiple instances of a class option d the process of reusing the code from existing classes. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option A, the process of combining data and methods into a single unit. Well, encapsulation is one of the four fundamental object-oriented programming concepts. The main idea behind encapsulation is to bind together the data and the methods that operate on data into a single unit or a class. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. What is the constructor chaining in Java? Option A, calling one constructor for another within a same class. Option B, creating multiple constructors with the same name. 
option c connecting two different classes through their constructors option d a sequence of constructors calling each other in a different classes well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option a calling one constructor from another within a same class constructor chaining refers to the scenario in java where one constructor calls another constructor in a same class using this function well let us say you have a class within that you have multiple constructors and let us say you want to call one constructor from another constructor within a same class then you can use this function so this keyword as a function welcome to java quiz series here is one more question what happens if no constructor is defined in a java class option a a class cannot create objects option b a default constructor is provided by java compiler option c an error occurs during compilation option d the class uses constructor of its super class well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option b a default constructor is provided by java compiler well whenever you don't create any constructor in a class then by default java compiler will automatically provide a default constructor and whenever you create object of that class then the default constructor will get called welcome to java quiz series here is one more question how is polymorphism typically achieved in java option a through the use of interfaces option b by overloading methods option c by overloading methods option d both b and c well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option d both b and c well polymorphism in java is commonly achieved through method overriding as well as method overloading so the method overloading is called compile time polymorphism and the method overriding is called um, run time polymorphism okay so in java the polymorphism is achieved through both method overloading as well as method overriding welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question can a static method be overridden in java option a yes option b no option c only if it's in a super class option d only if it's in a sub class you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option b no well in java static methods belongs to a class not a instances and cannot be overridden in a sub class since static methods belongs to a class itself not to any particular instance they cannot be dynamically changed or overridden in a sub classes instead static methods can be hidden in a sub classes using the same method name but this is not a true overriding welcome to java quiz series here is one more question what is the use of this keyword in a constructors option a to call another constructor in a same class option b to refer to the current class instance option c to call a method in a same class option d both a and b well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is both option a and option b well the this keyword is used in a constructor to call another constructor in a same class and it is also used to refer to the current class instance okay welcome to java quiz series here is one more question what is a package in java option a a collection of classes and interfaces option b a type of data structure option c a method option d an operator well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option a a collection of classes and interfaces well a package in java is a namespace that organizes a set of classes and interfaces think of it as a folder in a file directory by using packages you can group related classes together making your code more organized and modular welcome to java quiz series here is one more question can a class in java be both abstract and final option a yes option b no well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option b no well whenever we create a abstract class with abstract methods then we have to inherit the abstract class and we have to override the abstract methods and we have to provide the implementation right 
and in case of final class whenever we create a class with a final keyword then that final class cannot be inherited right so hence we cannot use you know the abstract and final keywords to create a class okay so in java a class cannot be both abstract and final welcome to java quiz series here is one more question how does java support multiple inheritance option a using classes option b using interfaces option c using enums option d using abstract classes well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is using interfaces well java does not support multiple inheritance through classes due to the complexity and potential issues it could introduce such as diamond problem however java allows a class to implement multiple interfaces which enable us a form of multiple inheritance all right so in java we can achieve a multiple inheritance using interfaces because a class can implement multiple interfaces and override the methods from the multiple interfaces and provide the implementation welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question which keyword is used to prevent a class from being inherited option a final keyword option b abstract keyword option c static keyword option d extends keyword well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option a final keyword well whenever we create a class with a final keyword then that class cannot be subclassed or extended so this basically prevent a class from being inherited in java